Hello everyone. Myself, I am Uma, and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I am a Microsoft certified data analyst and a corporate trainer, and currently working at Microsoft. Hi everyone. Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, we will see about the important updates of Power BI for the month of March. That is the current month. Okay. So I just opened one uh, report which is already built. If I open this in Power BI, you can see all these options, right? Uh, under the data, you have the table and this is the visualization pane where you are having all the visuals. You can drag and drop the required columns here. And you can also choose uh, format options. For example, if you want to change anything in this visual, you can come here. Under this format option, if you want to change the font, text, size, color, anything you want to change, you can always come and change here, right? So this is your visualization pane format option. So let's quickly see what is the major UI change which we have in this March updates, okay? So this is the Microsoft official website and here we are having this March 2023 updates, okay? So if you see here, there are multiple updates as on today's month, that is with respect to the reporting, we do have different apply all slices, clear all sizes and optimization presets updates, format paints and on object interaction. These all we will see in the report now. And coming to the data connectivity also, they, have, they are now supporting multiple data sources through connector updates. So these are something related to that. And even in Power BI service also, uh, you can embed the live data into the PowerPoint with an interactive uh, visual. So that is what they have updated here. And also app, app point and uh, Power BI mobile also, they have given some updates. And with respect to the third party visuals like um, uh, Drill Down Combo Pro, they have come up with some updates on this. So these are all the updates. Now let's quickly go and uh, see the major changes. Okay. With respect to slices also, they have given some new features that is apply all slices, clear all slices, this which we were not having initially in Power BI desktop. So this also they have provided even in the format pane option, they, they completely changed this. Whatever we are seeing right, right now, this has been changed to this format. So we will see now how we can do that. So initially we have this kind of UI where all the visuals are available in the right hand side under the visualization pane where you can even drag and drop the columns at this area. Whereas if you want to format any of the visuals, you can go to the, you can select that particular visual and you can go to the format option and here you can see it. And these are some of the slices which I'm using in my report. So each slicer you have an option to clear the slices but now they have come up with the new update in order for you to get the new update into your power bi which you have installed long back if you want to see all the new changes in this report in the existing power bi you have to go to file options and settings options and here you have something called preview futures go for here and here you have, you are seeing all the recently updated ones. It is all checked. Okay. And the very recent one is on object interaction. This you have to select it. Just click on this and click on OK. So it is asking to restart the Power BI uh, uh, desktop. So I'll click on OK. And I will just close this. Okay. So I'm just closing my Power BI. And now I will try to open my Power BI again. So now I can see all the new change, format change. Just like you are seeing here, right? Now the format options, all the visuals, everything is changed instead of like this. Now you are, you will be able to see something like this. So I'll open the Power BI desktop now. So I'm opening the report, the old report, which was built in the old Power BI desktop. So now if you see, you are not able to see that visuals here, right? Here at the right hand side, you are not able to see. Whereas you are able to see this data, this filter option is there. Now, 
all the visuals which we are seeing in the visualization pane has moved here. If you expand here under this home ribbon, here you can see all your visuals. And here you can select bar and column chart, line and area, waterfall, funnel scattered. Along with the chart names, here they are showing you, representing the all the visuals from here. Okay. And how to format any visuals, how to add the column names into the visual. Let's see that. Okay. So let me select this visual. Here you are seeing the total sales and profit by year. And here I can see the data set as well as the columns which are used in this visual. For example, I want to change anything in this. I can just go to this option. As soon as you click on the visual, you are getting something like this. Add data and build. Just click on this symbol. Here you can see whether you want to change any visual, you can change from here. Okay. So if I click on this, you have an option to change your visuals like this. Even X axis, you want to change anything, add any data, Y axis, what you want to add, line axis. So all your columns, you can directly drag and drop from here or you can just click on add data and you can choose the columns from here. Okay. So these all are as part of new updates, right? So this is about your formatting, okay, uh, adding the visuals. Adding the selected visuals, you can use your selected visuals, selected columns, you can use here in the visual. Coming to this one more paint symbol that is like format option. So in this you have an option. You want to use as a markers or as normal line. If you want markers, you can enable this. You want a zoom slider or you want the labels. If you want the labels, you have it. If you don't want, you can turn it off. All the format options you are able to see here. Okay, more options also is there. If you select here, you are able to get all this. Okay, so if you want to change from here, you can also change from this format option. Right here, I have more options as soon as you, I clicked. Here you can see all your options here. So you can come here and change any options if you want. Okay, these all are new updates. March 2023 updates of Power BI. Okay, this is with respect to the visual change. All the more options you can find it from here. And also, if you want to add any slices, say suppose in this report, you are having some slices, right? Year slices I have, region slicer I have, water slicer I have. So if I want to select all at a time or clear all at a time, I have something. I can use some options, okay? The new options which they have introduced or under insert, you can see under buttons there are two new options that is apply all slices and clear all slices so i'll click on this so i got this apply all slices i also want to have clear all slices so i am taking this to apply all slices and clear all slices for this also you can do the formatting option if you want to uh, change the buttons uh, size or fill you want to fill it with some color you can do it okay so for this also you can add some colors fill it select that and select some color for this okay so you can use this all these options You can choose all these options and now what I will do, I will try to select all and then try to clear the visuals. So I am, if I, I am selecting here 2016. Okay, I am selecting 2016 and I am selecting the region central. Okay, 2016 region central, two filters, slices I have selected, okay, 16 and central. Now, if I click on apply all filters, you can see the change, right? The filter has been applied. Now, if you don't want to apply these filters, you can just cl clear the, both the filters in this. You can just click on this button, clear all slices. So, the same way you can use apply all slices. Means whatever the slices you are getting selected, all together at once, it will apply for the complete report. And if you clear all the slices and complete whatever you have selected, it will be clearing. Okay. 
so these are some of the major changes which they have introduced apply all slices clear all sizes and completely they have changed this ui part like adding all the visuals here as well as you have the option to format the visuals right directly from here instead of going uh, in the visualization pane and selecting you have a flexibility to select all your visuals to drag and drop whatever the columns you need and also you have an option to format all your visuals right from this option okay so these are the new updates of power bi so in detailed about each and every single feature you can come and check from here okay and here you also have the titles right even for the titles also they have introduced now the option what all the titles you can add and there is also something called subtitle okay so top subtitles also you can turn it on now you are able to see the two different titles right one is the main title that is total sales by category and region and below that you are also seeing one more subtitle okay so this subtitle also you have an option to change it you can give whatever the name you like and you can do this formatting option so this is the uh, total sales by category and region is the title sum of sales by category and region is the subtitle so these all are some new features they have introduced please update your power bi the way i have given uh, told you go to options and settings in preview features enable this and then you restart the power bi you close the power bi and open it again so that is called the restart so once you restart you will find all these options okay so majorly this is uh, as part of your power bi desktop all the formatting features and the slices they have improved not only that even container improvement they have done the subtitles toggle button all this in detail they have provided in this Uh, microsoft website okay i will share this link also in the description box you can come and uh, once explore all these new features related to the spacing padding and also data connectivity you can connect to different sources through connector update so all these different sources like bigquery data bricks and other data sources the connector updates they have performed and um, even in the power bi service you can get the real time the real time data into powerpoint so the storytelling in powerpoint is also of the updates and even in power by bi organization app multiple audiences uh, this also they have updated and new scanner apis as well as email subscriptions score cards here also they have made some updates or as well as your mobile apps also there is some updates okay so please go through this visualizations and in the new app source like uh, some third party visuals also they have come up with some updates that is drill down combo pro feature summary they have given some updates okay so these are all the updates of march 2023 that is the current month updates and majorly uh, this is the ui change which you are seeing so i will share the link in the description box please go through it and update your power bi desktop and explore all the new features and uh, also comment in the comment box whether you are liking the old version of the format features or the new version of choosing your visuals adding the required columns and changing the format colors font size everything so update your comments whether you like the old version or the new version and for more informative videos please do like share and subscribe to ksr data vision youtube channel thank you